Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.1, number 33. So this was, hey, can we solve the compound interest formula for P? And so keep in mind, this, this P that's right here, it's, it's a letter, right? It's your, your principal. And everything around it is just a constant, right? So whatever, let me change colors here. Whatever this number is here, and I know it looks ugly, but it is just a number, right? And this is also just a number. So imagine if you had something like 4 is equal to P times 7, right? If you just had numbers on either side and you wanted to solve for P, what would you do? You would divide by 7 on both sides and then say P was equal to 4 sevenths. So that's all we're going to do here. So if I want to get P isolated, and let me go ahead and erase all of my marks here. If I want to get P isolated, I'm just going to divide both sides by 1 plus r over n to the nt. All right, and this is going to cancel, and then I solve for p, and that, that's what you see happening here. So this is me dividing both sides by that constant. Now the constant's ugly. I'm not going to deny that. The formula is 1 plus r over n to the nt, but these basically cancel. And instead of writing this as a fraction, I just use negative exponents here and solve for it. And, and if you don't remember negative exponents, if you had something like p is equal to x over y cubed, you could rewrite this as x times y to the negative 3. So, so that's, that's all I did. And there is the principle solved for. So take your, your current amount that you have and multiply it by this constant, and you will find out what your principle is equal to. All right, and that's number 33. Thanks so much. Bye.